What is up guys, welcome back. So this is the last part of my beginner guide series and I decided to make this um, about a topic which I want to leave you guys with while you guys progress through the game. Originally I was thinking of making it with tips and other things that I might have missed before but there's a pretty big topic that I actually want to talk about and I'm, I think it's a pretty good idea to end with that and I'm gonna call it commitment. Um, in this game, your biggest resource dump um, is either to to six star a monster or to upgrade a rune to max. Which uh, they both cost a lot of resources. They all, they cost different types of resources. Um, you know, to upgrade a rune to max, it takes a lot of gold. And to make a monster six star, it takes one million gold and also takes a lot of high essences uh, or high um, star stones. I, I keep, you know, I keep calling them essences because just because um, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of resources that you have to dump in order to make a monster, um, you know, raise a monster to to the highest of its potential um, with what you can right now. So in early to, I, I would say, this is probably reaching the mid game. Um, I I would classify mid game as where kind kind of I am right now, um, working on mainly just golems, B seven, eight, and nine. Like maybe farming some of these, starting on some of these, and um, you know I haven't really spent the time yet to to farm a lot. I, I speak from the experience of playing other games that are similar to this, um, and I, I, I do understand the progression of how to how to get through and eventually hit B10 and then move on to dragons in the future. Um, obviously dragons is not something you can farm for a long time. The dragons only opens on Sundays and Saturdays, and they cost the dragon sigils to to actually farm, so you can't just repeatedly farm it. The only, the best place that you can repeatedly farm is Golem's V10. Um, but my point is, you're you're going to be working towards Golem B7, 8, and 9 uh, towards the mid game, and you want to prepare for that. I made a really, really horrible mistake because of a certain, um, a certain, I guess, mis misconception of mine that I. Uh, I had before from playing a previous game. I I tried my best to skip as many floors as I can and try to progress faster. And what I learned is you had to. The game is actually designed um, pretty well, I would say. Actually, I think it's a much better game design than you know. Um, obviously, re referencing Summoner's War, you guys probably know I played that game for a long time. Um, the game forces you to advance one stage at a time. You can't really skip levels, uh, with the exception of like, you know, you, you can't skip levels in in regards to, you can't skip like, you know, these these three levels and then skip to B10. You have to, you kind of have to farm this for a while and then work on teams for this before you can get to B10. It's kind of the same thing with um, B4 to B6. You can't all of a sudden just skip B4 to B6 um, I guess you kind of can, like you can, you can just make it to B7 with four star runes, but um, you know you definitely still want to spend some time at the very least in B4 to farm up gold because the gold gain from B4 is a lot better than the scenario maps. Obviously, if you have nothing to level, then you're definitely going to be farming um, one of these maps, one of these 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 floors. I mean, um, they're the like every three floors in in golems there it's like one difficulty so all the floors that cost five energy is like one tier of difficulty and then these three are like the next tier of difficulty so b5 isn't necessarily harder than b4 it's just it drops a different type of type of um, gem and the mo the boss monster is a different element so it's the same thing with b7 to b9 it's not it's not necessarily harder for you to farm um, b9 than it is to farm b7 it, the only difference is the element of the boss. Um, I think the monsters might have a, like a level difference of like five levels or something, but it's it's pretty negligible, so you you won't really notice it if you have the same like tier of runes. Um, like if you have a team that's like for for this dungeon that's like full wood because it's it's water, um, and you have a full fire team and they're, they're on the same like grade of runes. 
um, a grid of runes that's like able to actually farm the dungeon effectively, then you won't notice the 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 level difference. The only thing you'll kind of notice is on floors like B8 and before in B5, um, the square slots are a lot harder to get because the the boss is element neutral. So you can't use a element that's strong against this this element to um, you know to to overpower him. So now I, I spoke a lot about about golems. I um, I want to to just make the point that you can't really skip through levels. You kind of have to work your way up one by one. You have to build a team for B7. If you plan to farm B7, um, you need to build like a full wood team for that. It's I would say I wouldn't say you need to like you you absolutely have to, but you should because it's a lot easier to raise like four wood monsters to. Um, to five stars than it is to raise a single monster to six stars in my opinion actually we might need to do a bit of math on that but um, it's a lot uh, even if you raise a monster to six star you're not guaranteed to farm that floor you know because the, your your monster is not might not be the element that that needs to you need to to clear that floor um, so it might be much easier and it's just much simpler to raise monsters to five stars and farm farm a specific floor because of how fast it is to raise a monster to five stars and how much resource it it actually takes. Like if you want to raise a monster to to five stars, it only costs like 20, 20 mid, twenty low, and then 20, 20, 30 mid here again. Um, that's not a lot, and it costs like less than one third of what it would take to make a six star. So to make one six star, you can already make three five stars. Um, but that's that's if you just you, you know, if you're thinking only about gold, if you want to make a six star, you need to, you need to have 50 highs, um, which are a lot harder to farm than mids. So, like, you need 50 high star stones, and you need 50 high, like, you know, element stones of that element, um, and 40, 40 mid, um, mid stones in order to make a monster six stars, as you can see. Actually, no, 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 you need 50 mid as well. Um, I kind of got that messed up as well. But you, you guys get my point. It's a lot easier for you to raise four, four, four stars. I mean, four or five stars than it is to raise one six star. Um, so it's a lot easier, and you're you're pretty much guaranteed if you can raise like a t whole team of five stars um, that are that's like a proper team in order to farm B B seven. Like my my golem team that I used before, um, the musketeer, Horan. Um, I basically use these these three and I use my dark sea star because she's six star I kind of just abused the fact that she's six star and just threw her in there um, so I don't have another wood monster I, I used to use the nightmare but I think she it would be better to use my sea star because she's you know she's stronger because she's six star um, but anyways you you would be much better off if you just commit yourself to raising a full team rather than trying to uh, try different things and try like just go on reddit and look at weird um, like you know people who have cleared b10 with like a certain team or something like that and then you try to try to mimic that team but you're missing one monster or something or anything like that um, you're gonna you're gonna be ensured that you're gonna progress if you if you raise a team that's able to farm b7 8 and 9 I don't think there's. It's probably a lot harder to farm B8 because B8 is like element neutral. You might need to raise a few six stars to do that. But you can definitely do seven with a few wood monsters. And you can do B9 with a few fire monsters. Um, that's for sure. So, so yeah, pretty much you just want a five, five, a set of five star monsters that have like. You can even use like the four star runes that you had before. You don't even need any really good runes. Um, and you just power them up to like plus 12 or something and then you just throw them into into the golem and they should be able to farm it no problem um, so yeah that's I think that's that's my main point I just wanted to tell you guys to to commit in something that um, that you know is going to pay off rather than to commit in something that you you are trying to make it pay off um, but you don't you don't know yet because I had to raise these two to six stars and then come back and then raise these guys to five stars and then Effectively farm b7. I was able to farm b7 before but the runs took so long like it was like eight minutes um, 
that I it was it was hardly worth worth it for me. So I just kept raising monsters over and over, and it took me a lot of five stars before I I realized that I needed uh, I needed some proper monsters in order to um, complete what I need to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys found this series helpful. I just wanted to leave you guys with that. It's not. I'm not leaving you guys with the fact that it's better to make more 5 stars than it is to make 6 stars because eventually at some point in the game you will need to make multiple 6 stars. The point is you want to you want to invest your resources into something that is um, that's probably safer and you know you know for sure it's going to pay off especially in a game like this where it takes weeks to actually even build something you know so that's just my take on it. Um, it's it's a little bit of my opinion mixed in with it, with it as well as my experience. Um, hopefully you guys have found this helpful, and hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake I did. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave you at that. If you guys like this video, definitely like it. If you guys disliked it, um, definitely dislike it. No, I'm I'm saying that. I'm like being real here. Um, if you guys don't like it, just dislike the shit out of that. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. And. I'm definitely going to be making more guides in the future, but this is the final and and this is the last and final episode of my beginner guide series for um, for this series. So it's been a really good run, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.